Temperature, right? It's like fucking with the temperature. Yeah. Lighting. But instead of flavor, though, you can't get that flavor no more. Like, why New York bar back then was like that piff, and now it ain't no more piffy no more. Well, Everything's because, just backyard shit. Well, because everything was illegal. Mm. So if you get caught with the strain, what happens? Yeah. What happens? They can, they're gonna duplicate that shit, obviously. But no, 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 no. No, listen. First of all, these motherfuckers are all scientists, right? Yeah. All these niggas, right? But some of them are overzealous in like their ambitions, cause it's like certain weed just can't grow in certain places. Yeah. You right? So if you take the hay strain, mm -hmm. right, which is grown in Miami, yeah, dominant. In 2005, 95% of exotic marijuana was grown in Miami. Miami yes, facts. Okay, and this is the United States. So, you know, after seizing all this money, billions of dollars, it's like, we need that bread. We need that bread. Okay. Fuck the niggas. Here, here, white America. We're going to give you a nice little location, California. Huh. You guys can do what you want to do over there. As long as you pay us. Gotcha. This is not for us. Exactly. Listen, you know, like, the black culture, there's not many black people out here. Yeah. They're all smokers and trying to figure out how they can the hustle this shit. You dig? The Hispanics that are here, right, feel like they started this shit. This yeah. is Cali. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So they feel like they're in the right. Like, yeah. What? Without it's our us, territory. Right? Without us, you can't even do your thing. You wouldn't even know how to trim. Uh. You wouldn't even know all this shit. All you fucking crackers got is fucking Mexican. It's working for y'all anyway. Uh. Putting y'all on the game to this day. Facts. I've been I've been in this shit since the beginning, doing the dispensaries on tours and keeping you know the the, the wave the, moving. Yeah, I see it, bro. How it's moving? Yeah. Like, how do y'all know this? Cause y'all niggas just can't tell me y'all know this shit. Mm -hmm. This trial and error. Prove it to me. Mexicans that are like, okay, we'll help you, about this. we'll help you, right, man. All right. 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 Come Thanks, on, bro. So back to so back to strain wise. Any specific any specific. So the whole shit with the strain is just like, you know, they'll never be able to grow haze unless they unless the government grows it in Miami. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, they're never we're never gonna get that ever again because the first of all they took it. So we're we're not gonna get that error again, right? We're not gonna get that strain that uh. the way that fun was grown unless they grow it in Miami. The Crippy started with the Crippy. Yes. That's what the Hayes originally was. 
the only black person, black, uh, black for real, yeah. with a real recognized weed spot okay. in the hood from 137 to 180, so Dykeman basically. But that video, I'm telling you, that video, you know what I'm saying, bro? when you put that out, I don't know what wave you was on, but you shifted a place in my music shit, bro. I was in the fast lane. I was in like the fastest lane. You shifted a whole, like my vision, because of what you did, the guys on the floor, you know, all of that. You shifted the, the vision, I, I, bro. I went into the fastest lane, like this is the fastest lane. Um, for me, you know, I'm not a rapper, so for me to even deliver that, I have yeah. to tell my man that song, is, it's so that you, that and my other shit, 52 Diamonds, I wrote those at like the same time. Okay. And it was like, I was like, I don't even know how I'm writing. You got a video for this video too? Yeah. Okay. It's called I'll, 52 I'll, Diamonds. I need, I need to see that. With a Z at the end. Okay. And I was just like, damn, I don't even know how I'm making these records, because I don't rap. But I jumped in this, in this, because you know it's like, in the world, it's like, there's all these different lanes. And they're fast and people can't get in them because it's too fast. So what you, so what you got? So you got coming something coming musically? You got an artist? You got nah, some pushing? You just nah, said fuck the rap game? Nah, I don't know. I just do merchandising. Mm. The rap game for me was merchandising. It was like a merchandising okay. adventure. Okay. That makes sense. That makes, that makes sense. For me. Yeah, because your marketing game was serious. They are People dude. think that, oh, I, I never had the desire to be a rapper. I always took it as a blessing for me to get a shot at rapping. I always, I always like, damn, like niggas fuck with my shit. I'm like, damn, niggas don't really know I'm really like, bro, working hard to do this shit. This shit ain't easy for me, bro. You know what I mean? Listen, man. So, so I'm not out here like on the nights. These niggas, niggas can't fuck with me, son. <laughs> fuck with it. Census World was Census World was a good piece, man. And, and from a fan's perspective, fuck that I do music from a fan's position, as I watched it, like, bro, hit him with more of that shit, man. Like, you took him to your place, bro, and you left him there. That way, and it was fun. And, bro, you know they're getting high watching on shit, but you left them there, babe. You didn't do no, like, look at the camera type shit at the end. You just let, you just give image, 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 image. That's some shit that was world renowned when their brains are left in the hood. Left. Yes, bro. Left they completely. Look at, they look at that shit like. Where the fuck is this shot? Exactly. exactly. Who is this nigga? Exactly. Tyson, like if you if you go and bro, please give him more of that. I'm asking, bro. We need more of it. So that's what I'm doing as an artist. Like, I'm spitting this revolution shit. So I got four world records right I now. I gotta lead it. I gotta lead how I gotta lead with my passion. See, doing the music yeah. is not my passion. So what if you found somebody that that's, that is their passion? Like fire them. Like I'm saying, like that is their passion, the only passion. I support shit. Damn. I support shit. Salute. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I always have since day one. That's, how I was, that's why it was easy for me to do what I did. Because I always supported new artists. Mm. I listen, man. We are alive off of vibrations. Yeah. Frequencies. That's how we live. That's what we live for. Everyone has music in them. So I always support. Okay. You know, sometimes I tell niggas corny shit. Niggas take it the wrong way. But I don't care. Because I wish I would have said it. To people a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? Uh. I feel like yo. Brooklyn's in the building, I guess.